so cool you just crawl inside a tomb from over 5,000 years ago. Welcome back to part 10 of my hiking adventure walking the length of England. In the last episode, I battled through my toughest day on trail and reached the stunning Cheddar Gorge. Now join me as I hike and wild camp my way to the picturesque Bath City and discover an ancient Neolithic tomb along the way. glorious. It's always a bit easier to get up when the sun is shining in the tent. And I'm starting my walk today. I'm heading to Bath. I'm feeling good. I think it's going to be about 12 miles. I think this whole walk, the number one food I've had and the number one food I'm craving every time I kind of come up to cafes and stuff is always a full English. I think because it's got a bit of everything, it's high in calories and so, oh, it, it, I cannot describe the wonderfulness <laughs> when I arrive in little villages and they have a full English, it's just like the heaven gates open up. So I'm really surprisingly enjoying coming into these little villages, meeting people, and just seeing this sort of English culture that I've never really seen before. And I'm just heading to a river which I will follow and it will take me all the way to an ancient tomb just outside of Bath, so all very exciting. So I've just come down near the river, I've broken off sort of the cycle path and I've come into more of a dirt path, it's really vibrant, stunning forest and in it I can see a bunch of strange structures and I think one of them is actually a World War II pillbox. Nothing on the map showed this, just discovered this cool hidden gem, didn't even mean to. It is amazing the ups and downs that come along with a good adventure. The last couple of days had been really tough, but today felt like the reward for getting through them. The weather was perfect, the countryside was beautiful and as I made my way way to Bath, I felt so grateful to be able to see England in such an intimate way. Very interestingly, I met an absolutely lovely person along this walk. I think, a, well, definitely a local to the area, live right by the river. And I was going past what I thought were tank blockers. And I've been seeing pillboxes and sort of old World War II remnants around here. And I was really confused as to why. And I had a really lovely chat with him. And he sort of told me all the history. And so those things that you can see right by the bridge, they are tank blockers. So they were put there to stop tanks being able to drive over. And the reason for that is this river runs along one of the defensive lines that if Germany had invaded Britain, this would have been one of the defensive lines to defend the city of Bristol. And so right now what I'm walking on was once a fortified defense line in case of German invasion. So cool. I am right now just outside an ancient burial site from 3800 BC. Oh, it's so cool. It's on top of a beautiful hill, no one around at all. And when it was first discovered, they found remains from over 5,500 years ago. So it is ridiculously old. So cool, just up here hidden in plain sight. I'm so excited. Ancient tomb exploring, let's do it. I'm like the far less attractive tomb raider and also the male version. Let's do this, let's go in this ancient tomb. This is by far the coolest tomb I've ever seen. It's so cool you just crawl inside a tomb from over 5,000 years ago, I mean, that's a crazy experience in and itself, and it's just hidden up here, beautiful hills. As the end of the day drew near, I pushed on in search of a place to camp. I was now close to Bath, and tomorrow I'd get to rest in a hostel. But for now, I still had one more night of wild camping to do. Good morning everyone. I am currently walking through the old train line. This is the Midford station and so you can actually see that all this 
I'm walking by was once a station. Following the old rail line, I made my way into Bath. What is cool about this route is that it takes you through the longest walking and cycling tunnel in Britain. Within no time at all, I had made it to Bath. Before heading to my hostel to pass out, I made the effort to go and explore Bath. The city is called Bath because of the Roman baths found here. During the early ADs when the Romans conquered England, they built a bathing complex to house the geothermal waters found in the city. Bath became known as a relaxing retreat from London, with people still to this day traveling miles to relax in the hot earth heated pools. And I have to say myself that it is one of the most beautiful cities I have ever seen.